I'm about twelve dollars into this salad so far. Hi, how are you? Oh, we're doing lunches and salads and bulk cooking and stuff. So Greek salad, very much. Big Greek. I love my Greek salad. Yeah. I, what kind of um, um, dressing do you put on there? So <laughs> I'm a sneaky guy. Uh, I like my olive oils yeah. and balsamic. Yeah, that, I use that. Yeah. But I found a, a little trick too. So we've got a great little store in Revelstoke called Le Marche, and they. Oh, yeah. They have bulk stuff. So this is a antipasto mix that's got a bunch of oil in it. Oh yeah. These are uh, balsamic and sweet onions, right? So they've been pickled already. So I cut these guys up, and then I use a, a French olive mix that's also seasoned and got olive oil in it. So basically, if you get all this stuff, mix it into here with a little bit of extra stuff. There you go, right? Like, and then of course you don't ever forget the the nice white um, feta cheese. Oh, yeah. Right, you got to have the feta, oh, and, yeah. and if, if you're if you're you I know mean, having a, a milk or dairy issue, goat goat feta is available too. It's almost identical price. So you know if you if you have yeah, that I dairy like, issue, I, I like goat cheese. It's a, it's a little softer, yeah, it right? It's creamier. It oh yeah. Yeah. We're gonna have a lot. Yeah. Well, it's gentler so, on your belly as well. If you struggle with the regular dairy products. Oh, yeah. A goat cheese is going to be a lot gentler on you. Oh yeah, for sure. There's a couple of different ingredients that are great like that. Anything fermented tends to do really well as well. It's a little bit gentler on your belly because it's already somewhat processed. So right, because yeah. it's our the gut biome, the little bugs inside us that do most of the digesting. All right, so I'm going to put this guy in here. This has got what That's peppers it. and carrots and cauliflower and some other veggies and some hot stuff. So do you call that pickled? This is uh, antipasto. Antipasto, so, yeah. right? So. Basically fermented veggies with or olive oil. Right? Yeah, yeah. why not, right? A little so, extra boost of flavor. There's all that lovely juice that they keep getting. Well, olive oil technically. I see you forgot to go in with our containers too. No, I did. Oh, is that a reused one? Reused. Ah, well done. Well done. We try zero waste is a mindset, right? It's a habit change. So one of the nice things about Le Marche and when you go buy bulk products in a lot of our stores now, they will let you refill containers. Mm -hmm. Just so clean. that you're not using know. You new know, stuff for like every time. Is. It drives me crazy. Yeah, it's, it's a big job these days to keep it all organized. Yeah, and it's just having that mindfulness and that habit change, right? I say it a lot where when you go to the gym, if you go to the gym, if you forget your gym bag, or say you're going to the pool, you forget your pool bag, you go home and get it, <laughs> right? We don't ask, oh, hey, you know what? I forgot my gym bag. Can I borrow some disposable runners today? <laughs> no. Right, but when we go shopping, we forget our bag at home. We oh. forget our bags in the car. Oh, I forgot my bags in the car. Can I get some disposable ones? And it's just that habit change of making the point of trying to remember what do we need? What do we need? Bring it with you when you go out and bring it home again. So we talked about that earlier with lunch containers is bringing a packed lunch and a reusable container is great. Not so great if you forget about it. So at the end of the day, it's great to build that routine, anchor the habit, as you would say, mm -hmm. so that when you get home, hey, who did you speak with at lunch today? Did you talk about anything interesting? And where's your container? What did you trade? <laughs> <laughs> right? I remember growing is school. A black onion or what is this is a balsamic onion. So oh, this, balsamic yeah. Onion. So these ones are sweet, the sweet little onions. The pearl onions. And I like to cut them up because they like they fall apart and then you get them in a bite. Oh, the, oh like, like I said, this is one of my, I, I started making new salads every every week, just going from a, a standard Greek to like, what if I didn't put these in there? Yeah. And now I love it. Keeps it keeps it interesting, right? Without yeah. making a huge change, we're not doing a whole new salad, no. right? We're not going from a Greek to a Waldorf, although I enjoy that too. But we're just taking the same old Greek salad and changing it up a little bit. So you stay interested, you stay excited about lunch. And it's a nice one too. One of the things I was thinking of was with packed lunches, because sometimes I like to have my lunch packed and planned. Every once in a while, somebody calls me up in the morning and says, hey, what are you doing for lunch today? Mm. I'm in town. Do you have time to go with me? And I'm like, ooh, yes, perfect. My lunch will keep. I've stored it properly, so it'll last till tomorrow. Now I can go out and enjoy lunch with my friend. Yeah. So if you were going to do something like this, one of my favorite ways to stretch a Greek salad is to have this on top of leafy greens. Yeah. So for packed lunch, what I would always recommend is set, keeping the leafy greens separate from the mushy bits. That way your leafy greens last longer. 
So especially mm -hmm. for that packed lunch, like I said, I can leave it in the fridge and go join my friend. Dressings. Another It'll keep thing, till tomorrow. If you don't dress your salad, you mm -hmm. can eat it right. Like the leafy greens, yeah, if you dress it right away, it, yeah. it'll get mushy. So uh, I'm gonna I tend to go these. with this salad. This one's different. This one here, you can, it's fermented. You keep stirring that sucker around and it gets better and better and better. Right? <laughs> That's what we're talking about. What's your favorite thing to have for lunch? If you go to Free pack, salad, if you go to right? pack. I'm Greek, so I make that every day. One of the staples, the go-tos. That's right, but I use sheep We were talking about that. Oh, go, nice. yeah. yeah. Sheep? Sheep, sheep feta. Sheep feta. Is it, you try sheep, it's the is that, now, now we've gone from <laughs> sheep to goat to, to goat cheese? I love it. Right. But sheep actually has a smooth taste. It's more like a cow. Interesting. It's better for you. I'm loving all the ideas we're getting here today. This is great. And it's such an easy way to mix things up, right? So then it's not the same thing every day. Um, so yeah, talking quickly about the containers, like something like this has the two layers where you can put your Greek salad on the top and put your leafy greens in the bottom. There's a separate container for the dressing. So when it comes time for lunch, you mix everything and it's ready to go. Rather than bringing it, if you bring it solid like this, this will keep and this is delicious, but it gets expensive. Mix it with some leafy greens and now it goes a lot farther. It cuts the price point down changes it up a little bit oh yeah but just another like, idea. that's you know great way to, to get fat into you too get a good healthy fat you, this is just a basic greek though you can throw avocados in here you can throw like roasted red peppers in there you know they're the mediterranean diet thing is just nuts uh another one i've heard of lately is the grilled greek salad so Ooh. grilling everything and then making it make yeah eggplant zucchini Love the, egg plant, uh, sandwiches the peppers the onions grill everything on the barbecue mm -hmm. then chop it all up and then make the greek salad out of that and now you've got this roasted greek salad like oh there it is right one away my shirt yeah right absolutely Ooh, so hello as you can see here i think this whole salad here probably costs 15 bucks but we've got that's a serving right there so taking it take an idea how many days you're going to be able to eat this and how many people can you what else with you're this, having right? with it and Include some. It's great yeah, food. Exactly. Yeah. So how many people will that feed you said? Oh, oh I'm gonna say probably ten. Oh, so yeah. You know. That's the, the reason why I'm not losing weight because I eat one of those for my lunch. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot of weight. <laughs> <laughs> um, right. Well, and you don't have to feel. It's all good. Yeah. That's it. Well, you don't have to feel too guilty about salad, right? Realistically, it's not like I'm digging into a big bowl of fries. The poop. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah. As long as you mind. I was. Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah. yeah. Now, how are we gonna mix this? That's in? what I was gonna say. You're gonna, you're gonna do your. You're gonna this do is your the fun one. So now this we're gonna do some fun bits. Ooh, is this my turn? Yeah, it's your turn to play. Anyway, All right. Thanks, guys. Sweet. Thanks See you later, in. guys. Awesome. So now this is gonna be another fun way. Now with this fireizer. I'm gonna move this out um, here. One of the ways it works, and most of them will work, is you gotta dig into something. Same thing with a mandolin. When you have a holder, it's gonna grab on. So you're not gonna be able to cut all of it. And so I try to leave the ends on. They're, they're the container boxes for lunches. So again. But you need flat surfaces. Two pieces oh, or three pieces. You need to have so flat surfaces and it needs to bottom. fit into uh, your this device. Here is so a, is this, oh not goodness. quite halfway. So you freeze it a little and you stick bit it inside there and it stays cold. That is so I'm going to cut it into right? three. Uh, yeah, just bigger. Oh, it's got to fit in. Uh, these guys yeah. here are double So wall, And then the flatter so the better. Stay hot or so stay I'm going to have three different stints of this. That is going to push a into here. Nut with a hook here. on the side, so it's, it'll, you know, there you put we some, go. some nuts in there and walk down the trail, and it's a bear, it's a and bear bear, uh, line up maker the center. as well. Right? <laughs> there we go. So or zucchini, on the typically, stroller. most people want to cook it before they eat it, but when you cut stuff skinny, same thing happens with beets. If you cut it really skinny, it takes out that weird flavor. Like, the beets lose the dirt taste. Mm -hmm. Where am I going to, where are we going to mix this into? We have another bowl there? Perfect. Bole, bole. <laughs> awesome. Uh, we'll add it to after. I just wanted somewhere to go. Yeah. So whenever you're starting with Spiralizer, always start slow. And if I could ask really nicely, if, or I guess we're probably top down right now. But yeah. Okay, sweet. We're, we're capturing it all to YouTube at this point. I didn't see that there. Yeah, no, it's funny how a camera can blend in. <laughs> so you always want to start slow and then you can go faster. These things are great for speed. Uh, if you're feeding a large family, those little small ones take forever. There we go. So that's as far as it'll go. That's why I leave the butt end on there. So these, now that's, you can see here, look at, see? They're huge. These are long. 
So, and it, that you know what we we have substituted this for spaghetti from now on. Like I make uh, a fettuccine alfredo with this, and it does so good. It acts you just pan fry it for just a few minutes. You can throw it build in the your sauce, sauce toss this toss in after. In there, you're yeah. good to go. But uh, it also works well in a salad. Do you want to show them the trick about uh, how to make them smaller? Oh yeah, totally. All right. So the other trick is if you slice it. So you saw how that went around. If I slice that down. So halfway in, now, top down view, you can see how it's sliced halfway in, right? Now I'm going to put that on here. So that's a smaller version of this guy. He also has the same three cuts, because this is the skinny noodle. There's also a wider cut noodle and a ribbon. The ribbon makes for a gorgeous cucumber salad. Oh yeah, yeah. Or, so now, or, or, or zucchini. Now we've got bite-sized noodles. Oh, wow. Right, so now you got your macaroni. Just make cheese sauce, or pesto sauce, or tomato sauce. Throw that in there. And when you get to this go. part, you just slice it. Right? Oh yeah. See, I, there's another one. Pesto inside this. Like I made, I made uh, basil and uh, uh, garlic chai or garlic scape pesto this year. Right? I was thinking about mixing it into like a separate bowl, a smaller batch, because we're going to give out little samples of the zucchini. Oh, well, okay. Well, Potentially? I was going to just throw this into our salad. Okay. And then sure. you can give some of this away if you want. Sure. Because there's lots here. Do you guys want to try some of the zucchini in there? Let's see. Oh, there we go. The zucchini noodle Greek salad. That sounds pretty darn good if I do say so myself. Right? Now it gets better with time. When it's uh, fresh, it's going to be... Marinate, and that's not marinated at all. So if you want to, you can chop that up into little things or... Yep. Slice it down. Right? Because, yeah, those are really long. <laughs> it does not fit well. I was going to try catch it before you did it, so you did it this way, but... Yeah, but then we got to show how yeah. long the darn things yeah. get. They're super long. Yeah, we'll just slice her in there. Do you want to put that in... Here, sure. Put something around in here. Why not? If you can fit it. That's try. what I was suggesting the other bowl. That's all. <laughs> I can stir gently. Gently. So we're choosing the right size bowl, those big ones. We've got some big steel bowls that are like yay big. That's awesome for tossing salads. It doesn't fit very well on our demo table though. There we go. Perfect. How are you guys doing today? Very well. Do you have to bring packed lunches anywhere in your life? Do you have to bring packed lunches anywhere in your life? No, you just always have a kitchen and work in? Mm -hmm. Nice. Oh, you got that little bit there too, I see. Yep. I just don't know if we need to use all of it. Might uh, as well, I guess. Do we have the little tongs? Uh, ooh, no, I forgot to bring that. Because you want to give them a little sam samples? Yeah. Okay. Totally. Slice um, that one. Oh, yeah, right. Thank you. So I don't think I have tongs, do I? Well, I'm thinking upstairs. about tongs right now. Yep, yeah, they're upstairs. You wanna go grab them? Sure. So for the spiralizer right now, because we get such a long noodle, we're just slicing it down the side. That way I get the smaller bite-sized noodles. But zucchini is surprisingly delicious, surprisingly oh, delicious raw on these salads. Every day. Can you and then it's it? an easy thing to bring for a packed meal. Now, packed lunches, they work great for school, office, but also for camping or a long day out in the, on the trail, if you're going hiking. But these gadgets, anything that makes vegetables more fun and easier to chop is a win in my book. So I, I, it's, this is one of the new go-to tools for a lot of houses, especially if you have somebody low carb in your life. There we go. They're great marinated in a salad. You can cook them up in any pasta sauces. Uh, let's see if I can chop this up. Hmm. I'm just gonna mince that up and no one will notice. Do, 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 do. There we go. It just keeps a nice, neat workstation. That's all. But yeah, you can do it. I've done it where you just fold that flat and do it right into the bowl. Um, 
because it's got that extra stand Every that folds out and puts it this way. Yet. As long as you have a nice clean the surface to work hand. on, it's just the cutting boards in the way. So I, I like them. I think they're hilarious. Why, hello there. We've been talking about all sorts of different ways to bring packed lunches to school or work. I could not find it. Or on the trail. I brought four. Yeah, that'll work. All right, so we are showing off the spiralizer for zucchinis. This is a great way to enjoy them. If anybody wants to try some Greek salad with zucchini in it. Try and get it. Should I? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go find the tongs. You think the tongs are going to work any better? Just got to put a little piece of everything in there. You guys want to try a piece there? That and a tomato and a pepper, cucumber. There's a little bit of that. Oh, there you go. You wanna try that? There's got a little bit of that balsamic onion in there too. You wanna try a little bit? Sure. What do you like to do for lunch? Oh yeah, yeah. Try to keep it hot, or do you, or do you microwave it when you get to work? What do you? Oh, uh, no, well, I work from home. Oh, so well, that makes it easy. It makes it clear. That way you don't have to carry all the stuff around. <laughs> right on. We did this through the spiralizer. Yeah. So we just, you, know, you hook it in here and you spin around, and the outcome is the, and we cut it down, we scored it down the sides of a broke. But you can make the whole zucchini pretty much like of the length of a noodle. Yeah. So we've we've kind of gone the more ketogenic way of eating, and so we reduce the carb intake that we have. But I still like to eat pasta, so you know I do spiralized noodle Something. instead. You want to give her a roll? Sure. There's an olive in there. Watch out, might have a pit inside. What's the uh, what's the spices that you use on it? I so huh, I'm, I we have a place called the Marche here, and they've got like a bulk olive section. And there's a, uh, so all the olives come with their own oil in there. So usually that's what I'll do. I get them to put the extra oil in there. I use like antipasto um, oil as well. So then I put all that inside. That way you have, you know, there's flavored oil. There's a little bit right? more. If you like, um, uh, if you're, if you want to put uh, artichokes in here, you get art like pickle or, you know, preserved artichokes in oil. Use the oil from that. Tons of flavor, right? Don't throw that stuff out. It's all good. Zero waste. Yeah. Zero waste. Use it all. Yeah, no problem. Mm -hmm. You guys have a great afternoon. So, how do you guys think? Pretty simple, right? Super simple, right? Good food does not need to be complicated. This is one of these these dishes that you can, you, you know, the, the base core thing is, is you know, the, the peppers, the, the tomatoes, the cucumber, mm -hmm. and some onion. But the flavors, you can change it up with different cheeses, different, you know, spicinesses. Like, I even didn't even put salt in. That was a feta. That was a real, that was a, a dairy feta, right? But you could use a goat feta, the sheep feta like our friend was talking about. That sounds fascinating. Just depends on what's yeah. in the store and what's on sale. Yeah. Because if you go for what's on sale, typically what's on sale is something that that retailer, that business has brought in because it's in season. They got a good deal on it. Fair. For whatever reason, if you're going to go in with an idea, I need this and you are finding that, if it is out of season or they did not get a good deal, that's where food gets really expensive. But if you go in with an idea of what you want, so I'm looking for a cheese, not this cheese, <laughs> a cheese, then you're more open to see, well, what did my retailer find today? Right? Trust your local business owners. Our job here is for all the tools. I do. So that's where we try to find good options for durable, reusable, things that have parts, things that we can handle the warranty for here at the kitchen store. Because I, yeah, there's so much out there on the market now for tools and gadgets, and there's some that are really useful. So like this, I really love having in my kitchen. This is the simplest yeah. one we have. Uh, that one's quite large. We do have that smaller one we were talking. If you just wanted to try it out, the hand spiral. And then the little guy here is only thirty dollars. Like he's surprisingly affordable for a big hopper style one. Doesn't take up as much space on your shelf, which is great. Well, and if you saw, we cut that that big zucchini into three pieces. So that's a pretty much three per. Like a portion size is that quarter piece, right? Or a third of the piece, right? Oh my God, that was just so awesome. <laughs> mm. We're gonna have a nice camping trip. This will oh, be yeah. great. Um, do we want to try and mix the rest of that in there? 
Uh, I was going to take some out, uh, and we can oh, maybe the container. Ba- bring that. Yeah, thanks, yeah, guys. Thanks, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. Great idea. Oh, thank Perfect. you. Perfect. Well, and if you'd like, I've got my cards here. We've got a blog post up right now talking about healthy sandwiches um, and how to update your sandwiches. And we're going to be releasing more blog posts over the next few weeks talking about those layered containers, tiffin boxes. But we put stuff out all the time, just trying to help people use the tools they have and choose wisely. Cook more at home, eat eat healthier. Um, Yeah, right on. Cheers. Thanks, guys. All right, so now that we've got that mixed, yeah, we can put that away, clean this up, and then I can go do my tour of the the sandwich containers. Sandwich and salad. Container. All of our different See, lunch boxes. Great. Think I can get that all in there? I think I can. I think so. Because that was a nice tour of our spiralizer. So I'm going to just leave that down here. Just be careful. Don't waste all any of the pieces. It's all good. Mm-hmm. Like I said, zero waste is a mindset. All right, yeah, I spent uh, like 10 bucks. This is a $10 salad. That's fantastic. Right? So if you think about it, break that into five, that's $2 a day, and you're gonna be able to eat like a pile of this. Yeah. The green peppers? Uh, I bought a bag of three for, for $3, so a dollar a piece. The cucumber was uh, $3 for like the whole, I put one whole cucumber in here. Three peppers. Uh, the olives were, Oh, uh, so half of that, half of that, and half of that. So yeah, yeah, two, yeah. four, two, four plus, and the cheese is seven bucks. Yeah. Okay, so more like a $20. Yeah. There you go. So four dollars a day. Perfect. Hey, guys. We're talking about all sorts of lunch ideas here today at the kitchen store. Big Mountain Kitchen, downtown Revelstoke, every fr- Saturday morning at the farmer's market. Talk about different easy skill sets to build your confidence in your kitchen. Cooking does not need to be a difficult challenge. Oh, it's not. We all do it. We all eat. Right. And this wasn't even cooking. No, this it's is, just prep. This is just a prep. lot of co- most of just cooking prepping. is prep. Oh, the majority. <laughs> right. The cooking part is the is the lazy part. Wow. I don't know if I'd call it lazy part. It's but... just watching, watching and watching. Patience. Patience. And the flipping at the right time. Oh, that's going to be freaking good. All right, see if we have some other likely folks here to ask questions of what everybody is having for lunches. So, yeah, does that sound like an interesting idea to you to have the staff lunches here? For, like, even if we do it, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know how it would I'm trying to explore what that would look like, like a group lunch, because we have a staff kitchen here at the store. Um, that if we can prep certain things that you know, okay, so every day, this is what I'm going to have. This is what's on the menu, for example. We're going to talk about that, like a capsule menu for at home, too. <laughs> nice. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> That's I'm funny. I'm a murderer. <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, sure, it works well, but... I need another container. Okay. Um, hmm, what else do we want to put this in? I can just put it in the sal- in the keep it in the bowl for now and, bowl? and cover it up. I got a big silicone lid that fits on that upstairs. So. I'm gonna do some more prep. Perfect. Well, I was gonna do the talking about. Oh no, yeah, right. You're, so you're gonna chop up some sausage. Those sausage. ones are cooked. Yeah, I think this is the right one. Nibbly bit. Cooked. Hey guys. Garlic stick. They're both cooked. Perfect. Yeah. Totally. Perfect. Hello there, ladies. This is keeping all the flies away from our salad. So this is called a shoe away. Came in from Australia. I've got the kitchen store here behind us. So we sell all the gadgets and the tools to make food. And we do these workshops every Saturday morning. So we're always got food and stuff out. So these are from Australia. The little holographic dots on there mess with the light. So the flies and the bees and the wasps, they see that and they don't like it. So they just shoo away. Which is great. So we can do things and not worry about the bugs coming in. We're not using chemicals because you don't want to use chemicals around food. Anything for mosquitoes? Not really. Mosquitoes are stubborn little bugs. The the, the closest thing I've heard of is eat a ton of garlic. And apparently uh, if you stink like garlic, they won't come near you. Or bananas. (laughs) Or bananas. You can eat a lot of bananas. The potassium content can change the flavor of your blood. Something like that. 
That's keeping all the flies away from us, so we can prep some lunches. So what are you guys wearing for lunch for school? Uh, sandwiches. Sandwiches? What's your favorite sandwich? Oh, it's not going to come off, I don't think. Ooh. Yeah. Lettuce, yep. And yeah, sure those words that never would have never come out of my mouth. <laughs> At that age? <laughs> right? Well, this is the cool like thing. Like watching the next generation butter. coming out and the, yeah. the way they look at food, especially here in Revelstoke. Oh, and avocado. Yes. No sandwich in 2019. I guarantee you I did not know what an avocado was when I was their age because they probably weren't even around when I was, you know? Ham and cheese? Nice. Do you put mustard on there at all? Yeah. Mayonnaise. And does a sandwich get you through the whole day? Is that all you eat or do you have nibbles on the side? Maybe a little salad. <laughs> this? This is a spiralizer. So what we were doing earlier today, we made some Greek salad and then we put a zucchini through the spiralizer and put it into the salad because it's really nice when it's marinated. Do you want to try some? Mm -hmm. We got some little samples here, so we make sure there's no olives in there to bite on. Perfect, so we've got one, two, and three. Yep, you sure can. You're good? All right, it might not go well with popsicles, but. Some ideas for some nice, simple Greek salads. Here, I'm gonna grab some more for some more sampling here. Because these ladies look hungry. Would you wanna try some? We got some Greek salad with zucchini noodles. Could you touch this? Yeah. Whoa. I'm gonna try. Oh. <laughs> it's designed so it won't hurt you. Um, the tongs. Wait, so tongs. I didn't, we may, oh. we're prepping up some little nibble bits for a camping trip because camping trips are very much like lunch to go to school, right? You gotta pack food. So instead of buying pre-packaged stuff, one of the things we're talking about is zero waste. So there's another little sample there. This is Greek salad with zucchini noodles. Uh, but so a zero waste lunch, because there's so much stuff that's already packaged out there for um, pre-packaged things, right? You can get sausage and cheese and stuff and it comes wrapped in plastic and somebody else cut it and it's full of chemicals and salts and sugars. Mm, probably, but they don't like the way it looks with their light. So they see, whoo, they see funny lights when they when this is flipping around with them. Just watch your eyes because you're getting pretty close there. But those little holographic dots make the light dance a little bit, and they really don't like it. Is there a way to cut this open? Yep. Oh, you can go. Yep. Here. Yep. So we're talking about lunches. We talked about sandwiches earlier today, because I have the kitchen store here behind us. So I sell the lunch kit, so you can see all the different sandwich bags over there, different lunch bags. Jeez. I've got water bottles. What are those? Those are cheese knives. So if you're cutting, yeah, it's one of the best ways to cut cheese for a sandwich. Yeah, because it like gets perfect. It does get it perfect. Cutting cheese is hard. There's a few things that are kind of hard to do if you don't have the right tool for the job, right? If you, if you have it on the side. Oh, careful. I just don't want you to get too close and get binged in the eyes. There you go. Protection. There we go. Here, I'll slice it up. You guys can trace. Oh, hello, wasp. That's all right. You'll leave me alone. So this is the garlic sausage from up the way here. Go away, wasp. Whee. There we go. Whee. Did you guys ask? What do we say? How do we ask nice? There you go. You're welcome. Anybody else? I cut up four pieces. Hey guys. How are things? This is the garlic sausage. Awesome. Awesome. One more. That looks like a good That is good. Right? Add some sprouts on there. All sorts of yummy bits. Hey? You can pick some different cheeses. That's yeah, right. we're going camping this afternoon, so we figured we would do two jobs. We'd show off how to prep some cheeses so that you've got the right things at home. Are you going camping later? Yeah. It's a beautiful day for it, right? We got some friends out there at the lake, so we're going to go and join them. That's a big piece of cheese. It is. Are you sure you need all that cheese? No, we probably won't take all of it. Last winter, 
I yeah? uh, went to snow camp with my dad. Oh, oh really? nice. What did you bring for food? Mm, noodles and bread. Mm. And that was it? Yep, it was only one night. Uh -huh. Oh, okay, fair enough. Fair enough, nice simple meal. Oh, careful. No, we went at like lunchtime the day before after we had lunch. Yep. And then we left for lunch in the morning, the day after. So we didn't need lunch, we just needed breakfast and dinner. Perfect. That was nice and easy, hey? Top camera? Top down. Ooh. All right, so there is home prepped nibbles rather than prepackaged. Hey. You have to go buy some though. Not bad. I like it. It's tasty, hey? Sampley bits. I do have a little bit more salad if you want. Wait, we have But you gotta go for lunch. What are you guys where are you going for lunch today? Um we're after the popsicles. Uh, we're gonna have lunch at our, uh, our place and then we're gonna have a place. Nice, right on. Oh, cool. This is for coring out the tomato. So if you're buying a bigger tomato, you slice the tomato up for a sandwich, you sometimes get the crunchy bits, right? That stem. It's not, I don't like it. I'm biting into my salad and all of a sudden I'm eating the stem of a, a tomato. So this will dig out the stem and then you can slice the whole tomato. We saw this strawberry ones and we were going to get it from my mom. Nice. And then they were too expensive, so we got the little tomato core and we're using Perfect. The nice. That one works just fine. Because, yeah, these guys are a bit more expensive. Hello there. I do, yep, just inside the kitchen store here. You just go in the door on the right hand side. It keeps the bugs out. What is that called? Shoe away. Yes, perfect. Two does work nicely. Because the fly, two is a nice number. Yeah. Because the flies can see three feet. So if you put the two on the table, it works much better. Yeah, you're welcome. Yes, yeah. he is. Yeah, he works out of the store now. Big Mountain Duck Coach. This is another option for a spiralizer to make those zucchini noodles that we were trying out. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Whoa, this looks like an Indian. Right? Well, this is, a nice, this is another option for a lunch kit. So say you wanted to bring some Greek salad for lunch. This guy here locks down nice and tight. It's got a silicone seal in the lid, so then that way nothing leaks. Right? Yeah, exactly. And then you got a nice stainless steel bowl to have your salad. Oh, Perfect. awesome. What do you put in the bento box? There's a little switch underneath. We just need everything. Just like that. That turns off the motor. But we don't want the Yeah, we don't want the flies and the bees. Hey! Thanks. Oh, no, no worries. No worries. Just watch out with your eyes. You're getting really close to that thing and it's spinning at just the right height that it's going to zing you. Pardon? Because I've got a speaker behind you. So when I talk into the microphone, that way I can talk to the people over there and I don't have to yell. Where is the microphone? Right here. The microphone is pinned right there. See? Because we go on video, so we do this all on Facebook. So if you ever want to learn more cooking tools and tricks and tips, you can go and all watch us on Facebook. And then you can pick up all these different ideas. I didn't even put salt and pepper on it. Yeah. So yeah, right now we're on YouTube. We do a little bit of both. We're experimenting, seeing where people watch videos. Where do you watch videos? On TV. Yeah. On TV, yeah. TV and YouTube, hey? See, that's what we're trying to go into the YouTube yeah, works. Like. They watch TV, but also on YouTube. Yeah. Sometimes. <laughs> the overwhelming number of screens we have in our lives these days. That's extra stuff. Totally. Cool. Right on. Hi there. Talking about zero waste lunch ideas today. How to pack lunches Hello, so that you can fuel yourself all day I long, make it like through that. the afternoon. That's awesome. Hello, Jay. Except I want mine more So we made a Greek salad today is a nice option because this is something you can keep separate from the leafy greens. And then we added some spiralized zucchini if you want to try some. Really? Oh, we're going through. We're going to stop. Yeah, yeah. We're going to stop. <laughs> you have to have a little bit. So you can have the whole thing. 
So yeah, I just made up a basic mm -hmm. Greek salad, although we had a little bit of fun I with want it. That, so, I want to put uh, Le Marche, I'm not sure you're familiar with the store. So I, want to be able to, I sell a bunch of different bulk antipastos and that kind of thing. Around. We add that in just for an extra little flavor kick. But the zucchini and beets both do really nicely through a spiralizer, so we use the big one here. Um, just to spin it through, it goes really quick. Anything that makes vegetables more fun. But with zucchinis and beets, typically to eat them raw would not be so delicious. Is she watching? But you cut them up skinny enough, then they work out really well. So Jane was delicious. that guy. <laughs> Video bomb. Photo bomb. Jack, did you get my check? Oh, maybe. Last week? Last week? Yeah, you're very welcome. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's last week. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Sweet. Cool beans, yo. So, yeah, if anybody has any questions about any of the gadgets we have here, should I do... Stuff. So I was going to do a tour of all our lunch containers. Let's do it. We've been chit-chatting this whole time, though. It's what good. Is, so, give me your, uh, an overview of what have you done today. Uh, so, a quick overview. We talked about sandwiches, because I made a blog post earlier this week talking about different ways to make your sandwiches more fun. So we walked through all those different bits. So talking about the bread of the sandwich, the protein, the cheese, the veggies, and the spread. Mm -hmm. So all those things can get changed up to make something delicious. We talked about spiralizing vegetables into a salad just to make for more substance. It's an easy way to add cheaper ingredients to something like a Greek salad as well, because it can mm -hmm. get quite expensive depending on what ingredients you're buying. So lettuce leaves and greens are a great way to stretch a salad if you've got something like this. To put it onto a bed of lettuce is going to help fill you up more mm -hmm. without the big expense. But you can also spiralize things like zucchini or beets and that helps stretch it out a little bit more as well. So that's a, that's a zucchini. Zucchini. Yeah, Yellow golden zucchini. zucchini. The lello. Spiralized up, it marinades nicely, softens it a little bit. So then that's what something like this container here is really good for. Um, I'm wondering how much I want to pull the packaging apart. This is the downside of these things. This one has, let's do it. We're going to gently open this up. Or no, I had to cut this one last time. Yeah. Paring knife. So this kind of a lunch container, we've got a few different layered containers that I can show off. And we're waiting on a shipment of some other bento boxes like those kids were talking about. And the idea with that is that you're keeping the different ingredients separate. Well, good morning! Hi! We made some Greek salad with spiralized zucchini if you'd like to try some. Because if you spiralize zucchini or beets, it changes the flavor profile completely. Yeah. And then it works well in a container like this where you have that top tray that I can put all the mushy bits. Keep all the leafy dressing. greens underneath. And the dressing. Salad dressing is separate so that when I'm ready to eat my lunch, I put everything in. Boom. And now I have a delicious salad that is not soggy. Very cool. Simple things. A tiffin uh, box. Tiffin box. Here, you want to pass that up here? It was one of my other ones I wanted to show off. That one is a super cool concept. Okay, so that. So that's um, a very old concept. When I worked in the uh, in the cannery like a hundred years ago. Yeah. All the Portuguese ladies had these. Yeah. And they used to put them in the oven at coffee break, and then they would have hot lunch. That's awesome. Because yeah. they had full kitchens and stuff in the. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Eh. That's awesome. Yeah, it was very cool. So much fun. Well, and this is a great way to bring a meal for a family too. Because you can have three different portions. Yeah. All packed together. These ones are double walled, so they'll, they should be able to hold hot or hold cold. They're not going to be as so temperature dependent. Uh, that you, yeah, you take all of them out. So now you've got this nice little double walled bowl that you can eat out of. Traditionally used for curries, it would be four layers. We've got the three, the two, we can get the four. We've got another one that's just a big insulated pot that's got two bowls in it. When my kids leave the house. Yeah. Right? Get out! I hear that a lot. I don't buy expensive containers because you know they fuck off with them. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, I can't even get a frying pan. So there, here you go. Frying pan. Right on. Yeah, we were talking about frying pans last night. I was telling her about the Ballerini, the non-stick, best non-sticks I've ever sold and on sale right now. Hello there, ladies. Uh, How are you guys doing today? Good. Right on. So what's your favorite packed lunch to bring for school? Um, I like... That's a hard decision. I don't know. Right? Top five. You eat lunch every day, so. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Sandwich. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were talking about sandwiches earlier today and all the different ideas to make sandwiches a little bit different because it is going to be 2020 next year. Right? right? So the same old ham and cheese sandwich. It's not quite the same thing anymore. Because I put up a blog post earlier this week. We've got the kitchen store here behind me. So we were talking about changing up the breads 
and different ideas for the bread and the carrying device, which is really all it is. Uh, the protein, the veggies, the cheese, and the spread. Yeah. So all the different things that you can change up to make a little bit different flavors. And then we do have some samples here if you want to try. We made a Greek salad, because salads are a great thing to bring to lunch. We were showing off some of our salad containers here that you can keep the mushy bits like this separate from the crispy bits like the lettuce leaves. So that way it makes it to lunch and it still looks like lunch. Cool. So that's one of the hardest things is to make sure it still looks, if it ends up a big mushy pile, you're not going to have it. Mm -hmm. And you're going to end up buying a hot dog or something cheap, right? Oh, yeah. I'm good. I don't yeah? Yeah. All right. Thank Fair you. enough. Fair enough. And then so when you bring chili, do you have a microwave at school that you have yeah. access to? Yeah. Does it get a big lineup? Yeah. That's one thing I've really noticed whenever we were doing a workshop here at the high school and I saw they had the microwave there, I'm like, oh great, you can have ha, ooh, what? Like 20 deep lineup to try and get onto this microwave. Uh, but we brought in some insulated containers for that so you can heat things up at home. And then the trick with the insulated, I'm doing a tour of all my different lunch containers, so I should grab some and talk about it. Because we do these videos every Saturday morning with the market. So then that way we can all talk about some of the different skills to be able to cook at home. So for a hot lunch, insulated containers like this are great because then that way it holds it hot. It's just that nice size, just to bring a spoon. I've got some nice little straw bowl, straw bags that'll work well for spoons as well. Um, the trick with something like this, make sure you prime it with hot water first. Because if you're putting, especially if it's cold, not so great. But yeah, these ones have been super cute and really well priced for a thermal. I think they were only like $25 or $30. No, no, we're getting these. We've got a whole line of containers from Now Designs and a few other companies as well. And I try to find companies that are just the kind of companies you want to support. So like these guys, part of their profits for all their kitchen linens and products goes towards Education Without Borders. And they're just really stringent on where their things are made. Because it's really hard to find stuff now that's not made in China, which, fair. But then the way the companies get their manufacturing done is some of the companies will say, all right, who can make it cheaper this week? And then they'll work with different warehouses and manufacturers, and that's where the quality just goes downhill. And you start getting weird things. Um, but as long if you build a relationship with a manufacturer, you're going to get better quality stuff. And this is some of the other ones. Yeah. And then, yeah, so with the stainless steel containers have been a really popular one. The bento boxes are fun, especially if you're doing something like tapas. I find them a little bit fussy myself, but <laughs> I like just a big open bowl, something like this. This one's got a silicone injected lid, so then it's going to be air and water tight. So for something like a Greek salad, this is going to be really easy just to mix. Not double walled, so not as so much for the hot stuff, because you wouldn't put that in the microwave, but for packing it for lunch, it works well. Mm -hmm. We've got a few plastic options for those that do want to use the microwave. So um, like this guy here, that's one of the things I liked about him. He's a great salad container. So it locks down, but it's got an upper tray. So then this way you can keep the mushy bits separate from the leafy green bits. Mm -hmm. So then your salad actually looks like salad when it gets there. But then this could go in the microwave, cool. right? So if you had some hot chicken that you wanted to put on top of your Caesar salad, right? You wanted to heat it up, then you can do that too. Yeah, possibilities and options. All the sandwich tools. Having a good spreader makes life so much easier for sandwiches rather than a little butter knife. Regular butter knives are just really not that practical. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those beeswax ones are from um, Abigo. So you get a, there's a few different size options. The smalls are a little bit bigger than that. They're great for snacks or the half, half ends of vegetables, so the end of the cucumber, um, half a tomato, that kind of thing. The medium size is better for bigger snacks or cheese. The large is big enough for sandwiches. The giant is the only thing I've ever found that will keep bread nice. Because it's big enough for a whole loaf of bread. And because it breathes, it keeps the crust crispy, but the inside's mushy. Because usually it's either one or the other, right? Everything either dries out and goes hard, or it all goes soft. Which for a baguette, you want that crispy bit. I forgot what I went mean inside for. You got chatting with somebody? Uh, I went and got changed for it. Oh, great. Thank you. Um, no, what you went in for? Oh, too good? Yeah, good. <laughs> Sweet. How much for just I think they're $2. Oh, no. The price, I changed the price to $1,000. Depends how much we want it. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yes, a key tool for any straw. 
Here inside. inside. Yep. Uh, Teresa, we'll hook you up. Take it inside? Yep. Okay. You go so right ahead. Where you want. There are more inside, but okay. you're welcome to just take some of these. Different colors or no? No. The straw br the brush is just the same. Oh, look at the pony. Yeah. yeah. Sweet. Right on. Can I have a ride in your pony, sir? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, some of the oh, pooches you, that we get like around, you. hey? The love. That's awesome. All right, so onwards with our tour oh, you know, here. I, I have, talked about the insulated container. I have container. a backpack right, that he for a rainy in. day or it, lunch on the go. The you're going the out to the my dog. There's a few different oh, sizes of these guys. But I'm going to bring it back to the thrift store. But. And let me remind myself, yeah, yeah. yeah $25. It's really it's, affordable compared to the It's got little arm holes and little leg holes and a mesh front, so it sits on your front. And other options. It's like maybe this Sandwich big. bags, we've got three yeah. different options. I can drop it off here next week if you want. You come um, by and take, if a, you want take a look at it. I love yeah. comments today like about how the clear bags are nice because then Glenn. you can see what's yeah. inside. Nice to meet you, Tracy. In which case, Who's you can that? go either plastic with a silicone Hi, zipper or full silicone. Going? Hi there. What kind of dog are you? He's a Chorky. A Chorky? Chihuahua Yorkie. Ah, see, we have a, a Boston Terrier, which we think is mixed oh. in with Chihuahua a little oh, bit. Nice. Yeah, he's just 25 pounds, but he's, oh, he's a little big then. for the thing. But yeah. he, that, he I fit can do it that again. Yeah, you can. Let me oh. take this stuff apart. I want to show it Sage. off anyway. So, if anybody like has any questions awesome. or ideas yeah, for so their zero waste week. lunches, all right, I'll, I'll leave it at the front desk for you. Cool. I'll give her the backpack. Oh yeah, nice. <laughs> I was like, this dog would be perfect for this. Oh, it totally would be. Hey guys. What's your favorite lunch to bring for school? Oh. Sandwiches, snacks, You, you can tell it's getting closer, eh? Dirty words, eh? <laughs> just dirty words. Oh, I'm sorry. Da, da, I just made you guys da, sad. Da, 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 da. <laughs> I am horrifying all the children here at downtown Farmer's school. Market. Back to school. Right? Okay. So, sandwich and snack containers. A quick oh, tour. Right, so when you're bringing foods, one of the biggest wasteful bits about packed lunches are the Ziploc bags. Yes. The bags are convenient because they fold flat when they're empty. You can put almost anything in them. We mm -hmm. like mixing it up and reducing our waste little bits by little bits. So we're showing off a few of our different sandwich bags. We do have the fabric ones. The fabric ones are nice. They're lined with a water-resistant fabric, not plastic. I never understood the idea of a plastic bag wrapped Inside. in fabric. It's still talking plastic. These are machine washable. They're great for snacks, sandwiches, that kind of thing. Because they breathe, the food is not going to go soggy. Yeah. Whenever you put things wrapped in plastic or silicone, as soon as you close off that breathability, that's going to affect the sogginess of it all. It's kind of like putting on a raincoat. As soon as you put the raincoat on, you instantly start to sweat. So something to be mindful of. That being said, we've had a lot of comments today about the clear bags. Because clear bags, you can see what's inside, which is kind of nice. Hi there. Cleaning. So we've got these ones that are as pure uh, platinum grade silicone. They've got a built-in zipper, which is quite nice. The only downside with these is if you put enough pressure on, it will pop open. So maybe not so great for packed lunches. Or in Hi your guys. Bags. So that's the stasher ones. They're a bit more expensive. We also have the more affordable plastic from Full Circle. These are great because they have a silicone zipper seal at the top. And it's all built into one piece, so then that way it doesn't tear apart over time. Some of the cheaper reusable lunch options out there, they barely last longer than a disposable Ziploc. Totally. To be honest. PBA free. Yep. Full well, Circle makes some really nice stuff. If you are going to go plastic, these guys are a good way to go. Um, and one thing I wanted to point out, we got some really cute patterns. This one's got a bunch of math, thing, math symbols on it. We've got one with monsters. I've Dinosaurs, got one girls. that says girl power. And as soon as it's cute, like the bears here, it's going to be a lot more likely to make it home again because you're going to get attached to your lunch container, right? Because who doesn't have good memories of their lunchbox? I love my lunchbox. Right? Which one did you have? I had multiple ones. I had about three or four different ones, but I was like Star Wars kid, G.I. Joe back yeah, in the day, Spider-Man. Yeah. All sorts of fun bits. Yep. Hello there, ladies. We did make a nice little Greek salad if you wanted to come try. We were spiralizing some zucchini earlier today, just showing off how it's a great option to add into a salad. So like a Greek salad or any other bean salad, fermented salads. So we are downtown live at the farmer's market. Oh, all right. All day. All day long. Great. Hey, Donna. Cool. All right. So then that was the sandwich bags. Coolers. Tippins. What else do we want to talk about? Hot containers. <laughs> the bag. The lunch bag. The lunch bag. Ooh. The soft-sided lunch bag and the double wall thing here. So these guys, all lined with the nice reflective 
pattern. This will fit the cooler, sitting or standing. Yeah. You got uh, the little, little pouches for, for your snack bags. For your snack bags and your, for your sandwiches. That yeah. way it, it stops it from banging around. Keeps everything nice and tidy. Yep. Very lightweight. Put your cutlery inside, napkins, cloth napkins even, if you wanted to go full sear waste. Oh, yeah, right? Right? Little... So what would you build, what would you put together as a sandwich lunch in this? What do you think? Oh, sandwich lunch. I like, right? I would, I used to go for something a little harder bread. So like uh, a rye bread or a mm -hmm. hoagie bun. Uh, that way it wouldn't squish. Yep. Uh, typically if I was making like a salad, like a chicken salad or a tuna salad sandwich, I would make it so at, you could wrap, I like, would a make it together. There. I wouldn't make it. I wouldn't make it to start with because the, the, the bread usually never lives long enough to actually take on uh, to, stuff with tomatoes in it. Mm. You have to pack the tomatoes separately too, so you don't get that soggy bread. You know what I used to do? I put. I would put build my sandwich. So you put the bread down first, put on your spread, and then put on a lettuce leaf. Right, put your lettuce leaves or your meats on the outside, and then the mushy stuff on the, the inside. inside. Yeah. And then it usually didn't make it all the way to the bread. Nope. So it worked out well. And the abigos as an option for wrapping your sandwich yeah. in, that large size that I was talking about for your sandwiches, I think that would fit in nicely beside this. I would try and tuck it in, like I said, I would try and tuck it into the back of that right? little mesh. Right? I would put the standing. sandwich here. Yeah, there you go. Like that. A sandwich could fit in behind there. You'd have sandwich and chili, soup and sandwich. Soup and sandwich. All sorts of options. Uh, we did, we used to do uh, hot dogs. So you, uh, Make the hot dog and roll the hot dog in the morning. Yeah. Put the hot dog in the cooler. Pour some hot water inside the in the, the thermos. Uh, and then you, if you then have you, access to a kettle. Well, no, you just you just stay hot all day. Oh right, I got gotcha. you. So, you so hot water. The, hot water in the in the thing. Oh, that's sneaky. And we cook the hot dog while during the day. Yeah, right. Then you have your your hot dog bun full of all the condiments. Yeah. Bam. Put it all hot together, dog, and you got a nice go. hot dog for hot, lunch. Hot dog. What? Hot dog day every day. That's a crazy idea. We did crazy, crazy stuff idea. back in the day. <laughs> like I said, the grilled cheese and soup thing. If you could have a... Uh... Hey guys, we got some samples of Greek salad if you want to come try with some spiralized zucchini. I talk about putting zucchini into a Greek salad and people get weirded out, but it what? is delicious. It's all the same. It's all good. You keep stealing my tongs, honey. I keep putting them in there. I know, and I, I need them. want to have dirty stuff You're making me bend down. All right, here we go. Let's put some zucchinis in there. There we go. Yeah, you're very welcome. What do you guys like taking for lunch it's for school? It's dirty words, isn't it, right? Oh, yeah. yeah? We got a lot of, this is a nice little thing here for Go salad. There. So it comes with its own little knife and fork. There you go. Yeah, you put so your you put your salad, salad all together or the other options too, you've probably seen a few of the different layered ones. I popped this one open because I really like him. Because if you do salad a lot, especially if you do leafy greens, this way you can put your leafy greens in the bottom all your mushy bits on the top and then your dressing separate so then it actually makes it to lunch. And you just dump it all together and now you've got a nice fresh salad rather than, because otherwise it goes kind of mushy over the day, right? Yeah, I kind of liked him. Right. Cool, Yeah, beans. you're very welcome. Uh, I did earlier, but let's do it again. So the sandwich boxes from Onyx. Onyx does, this is good. I've got two different yeah. containers from Onyx. These are some of our main lines in the stainless steel. Stainless steel is really nice because if it does get forgotten, heaven forbid we forget our containers over the weekend or, he or even worse over summer, where's your backpack? Uh, <laughs> the stainless steel is great because it's easier to clean up. It's not going to take on the flavors and smells like plastic will if it got left behind. So I really don't like those plastic bento boxes. You get too many corners to hide things in. Uh, can you grab me the wide short steel container as well? I think it was over there. The bento? Oh, the, uh, the, uh, yeah, that's the one I'm looking for. Which one? Right here. Sweet. That's, oh, that, that's the round short. There we go. So here are three options from Onyx. Um, and we are probably looking at making another order with these. We've been talking about our collection of to-go containers. And it's getting to the point where we might need to consider replacing some and really reinvesting in what do we have at home. Mm. And I'm thinking a collection of the steel bowls from Onyx. So these come in a range of different sizes. You can go as big as you want. Hey guys. And the nice thing about this, it's got a really nice, strong, simple clip that keeps the lid down. And there's a silicone seal in the lid. So that, that way it's airtight. They come in the Still variety tight. of bowls. Still proof. Still proof. This Great. one here, this is a wide, low, divided container. So again, insulated lid. Leave that one yet. 
Quinn. Oh. oh, interesting. Yeah. All right, YouTube. Yeah. YouTube doesn't like us. So, divided containers. We'll do this short, and then we can cut her off. So the nice thing about this bento box here is the dividers come out. So then that way, if you have to clean the darn thing, you're not trying to go into corners, because nobody likes that. So you can use it as a large open container. You can divide two sections, or you can go into the four. And then that would make for a really nice little tapestry site meal. Is that what's going on? Is there an upside down? Look at Oh, there is. Yeah. Look at that. Because of the little, yeah, the little ridge there. Oh, we learned something new. There's yeah. a ridge at the bottom. So it's, that's going to sit nice. Well, it's not, it's not watertight there. It is not watertight. So if you're putting something juicy into a bento box that's not watertight, silicone muffin liners work really well because they'll fit inside and then they'll keep those juices from moving around. Here you go. We're talking about zero waste lunches today. All the different ideas to try and incrementally reduce how much waste we do and planning ahead for stuff. So like we made a big Greek salad here. Do you want to try some? Got some spiralized zucchini in it. Because that's one thing about Greek salads, one of my favorites. There's a lot of really nice salads that are easy to store and they'll keep quite long. So you can make one at the beginning of the week and then take a small amount of that with some leafy greens, for example, to make for your salad that day. And if you use a divided container, so something like this, where you can put the leafy greens in the bottom, and then the mushy bits, the Greek salad on the top, it keeps it all separate so that by the time it gets to lunch, it still looks like lunch. Still eatable. Yeah. So we've got the kitchen store here behind me, Big Mountain Kitchen. So we sell all the tools and gadgets. Um, right now we're getting ready for the back to school push. Everyone's been starting to ask about lunch containers because now is when we have the most of them. So we wanted to show off a variety of the different ones we've got. And then it's nice because we put it all into video so you can go back and watch it later. If you don't have time to make it to the market for the people that are out camping right now, they can come back and watch it all there. So, yeah. This is all campable stuff too, though. Right? Well, packed yeah, yeah. a packed meal is a packed meal. Yeah. Whether you're going to school, work, camping, hiking, skiing, mountain biking, whatever it is you're doing, you got to bring something with you to keep you fueled. Because otherwise, we start getting hangry. If we did not pack enough food, I know that's where I run into issues sometimes. I don't bring enough snacks with me to keep me going all day. And then by 3, 4 o'clock, I'm starting to get fussy. So, anyways, uh, I think Jeff that's was saying it. that we're probably going to wrap up here on YouTube. Hopefully this was useful to you at some case. Um, we're going to be embedding this into our website. So if you haven't been over there already, bigmountain.kitchen. We are the kitchen store in downtown Revelstoke. We are here to help support your lifestyle. Give you some easy ideas and tips and tricks to use the right tool for the job build your confidence in your kitchen and the mindfulness in your home cool you want to do a little chat about where the people can find you oh. yeah you guys can uh if you're looking at getting into uh some keto diets or anything um, health related i'm uh opening up my, my my store i suppose uh here at big mountain kitchen you can uh, call uh or go online check it out at bigmountain.coach mm -hmm. uh, you can sign up for a 30-minute uh, kickoff your coaching call. Uh, and, uh, yeah, looking forward to not being here next weekend. So I will be in Kelowna. <laughs> yeah, you're going to Rib Fest, I'm hey? going to Rib Fest next year week. So it's, I'm doing, actually, one of my bucket list things where I get to go and play with a uh, championship barbecue team. So if you're in Kelowna next week, come check me out. Or we're down at the waterfront. I'll be cooking with Prairie Smoke and Spice. Come and see me down there and, mm -hmm. uh, in Kelowna. Yeah. And then we'll be getting ready to come back and set up, like you're saying, the new services here at Big Mountain Kitchen. Yeah. One of the big things about getting you cooking and doing more in your home is it does take habit change. Yeah. You need to be a bit mindful about this. It's not easy as much as the Food Network likes to make it look easy or say it's easy. It can be simple, but it does take that habit change. And Glenn's going to be around to help you get through that. Yep. All right. So all right. love you all. BigMountain.Kitchen, BigMountain.Life. Cool. Yeah, fun times. I'll oh, practice a few more times. And... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I was thinking like, hey, we're doing the outro. Yeah, I know, and I'm, uh, I was like, like what? oh, what the hell was I supposed to say? <laughs> <laughs>